Hi everyone, it's Sue DeWeverin for the weekly countdown to the Flyer Ideas 2019 final and we are now eight weeks away from the final. As I mentioned in our last videos, there are six challenges to this year's competition and today we are joined by our electrification challenge sponsor, Valérie Ginest, who also happens to be the head of electrical power and engineering lab. Hi Valérie, thanks for joining us. Hello, thank you for your invitation. ago we announced the finalists coming to the final at the end of June. The seven finalist teams, out of two out of those teams are electrification uh, teams. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, of course. Um, so uh, I think that, uh, that proved that uh, electrification is a real topic for the future and to prepare the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, it's nice because we, we received something like uh, 150 uh, proposals. Uh, or more, I don't remember exactly, but uh, a lot of proposal and, and uh, thanks to um, uh, a good team of assessors, um, we, we were able to explore and uh, all the proposal mm -hmm. and to choose the, the best one. I, I'm not sure it's the, the best one, but uh, we, we select two for the, the, the final. And, and, um, and the first one is, is uh, linked to an uh, electrification topic, uh, of course, uh, but is uh, more uh, in order to save uh, uh, mass and to provide more performance uh, on electrical motors. And uh, this team is an uh, uh, Osprey team and they propose uh, a motor uh, intra-body cooling system. And they propose to uh, include the, the, the cooling system inside the body itself. And uh, it could be uh, really uh, attractive for uh, our uh, future urban air mobility and uh, uh, hybrid electrical aircraft. And the second one is uh, the solar wind mile. Uh, proposed by the team uh, Siren. In space application, we have to store and we have to find a way to uh, generate energy and, and to store the energy. And uh, it's difficult in space. And, and we are using today uh, a solar array to do that mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and battery to store the energy. And they propose to use the electron fuel from the solar um, wind to generate energy. And it could be very interesting to deep space exploration. So those are the two projects from your challenge in the final. Last week, we interviewed Anis Hudsik, who's our IoT challenge sponsor. And I'm quoting, I'm always quoting in these videos. He said, the world will be changed by the optimists which are ready to take the challenge. So we tried to identify this kind of people. Did you also have something like that in mind when you joined the Fly Your Ideas competition? Yeah, I think uh, we have to consider the student uh, as a future engineer in, in Airbus. And for me, uh, what is uh, really interesting in telling the student to uh, find uh, new ideas or to propose something new, mm -hmm. is that they have no limitation and they propose uh, something uh, impossible uh, or, or not, but mm -hmm. uh, without any limitation. Is, and it's very interesting for us because um, we, we need uh, to innovate in this future uh, world, uh, we need to, um, to find innovation uh, to face our challenges mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and to have uh, diversity. The diversity is very uh, important uh, for creativity and to, uh, to ask to the students around the world to help us or to propose uh, innovation is really important and therefore uh, UNESCO I think is a good partner for them for us. And yes exactly. In getting involved in Fly Your Ideas what would in this competition since it's your first Fly Your Ideas what are your expectations? Yeah w when you came to, to, to me with you proposed to participate in this challenge I was very curious uh, about uh, the idea or the project that I will receive. And I didn't expect uh, about something, but I, I was very curious. And, and now uh, what I can say is that uh, we receive a, a lot of really good ideas. It's nice uh, to think uh, that the student will become our engineer in, uh, probably in a few years. 
in getting to know you and working with you in the last few months, what I've realized is within your area of electrification, you're working in a lot of different activities within Airbus. Uh, what would your advice be for students who are just coming out of school and who are actually trying to make a move into the aviation industry? I will not give an advice but uh, an experience uh, about me uh, or feeling after 10 years uh, mm -hmm. in, in Airbus. Uh, you will never want to do something else <laughs> 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 because it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, a very interesting uh, world with uh, a lot of new challenge. Electrification uh, of course is uh, uh, one of the big challenges we have to face in, in, in Airbus and but yeah. So that means you want these everybody to come work for you yeah. now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now in the final, we've got over we've got 25 students in the seven teams in the final. But in the initial registration, we had over 2000 students that registered for the competition. Now we're left with 25. Even if people didn't go further in the competition, what advice would you give them? Never give up and then come back uh next next year with uh, with your proposal and uh, or a new one and uh, yeah. right right because Airbus is always launching all kinds of challenges and competitions who knows what's what else is going to come back anyway Valerie thank you for your time and your dedication do you have any last words you want to tell the students um, of course I would like to thank all the students uh, for the participation of this challenge and I would like to thank uh, the organization as well and mm -hmm. you uh, Suzanne for uh, Great job. <laughs> well, anyone, a reminder, we are now eight weeks away from the final. So it's coming up very, very quickly. Things are accelerating. So stay tuned on our social media channels and see you next time. Bye.